predicted. From the second we are born, as we are even in the womb of the mother, we are born addict. So addiction is part of our structure. What are we addicted to? Look at the birds, look at the bees, look at the man. We are addicted to reproduce, to guarantee the survival. And for addiction, we get paid, a stimulant. So, we are all born to be addicts. We are born addicts, not to be addicts. We are born to be addicts, and we get a reward. In our sexual behavior, what do we get? Pleasure of sense for a few seconds, and that's a paymaster, that's a payment. And we have a reason for it, that we guarantee the survival of the race. So, if we were not addicted, we choose once, we make love once, and there'll be one child, and that's it. It'll be systematic. But, is reward return? But we get addicted to the reward. So, in a way, human race are born as addicts from the time they were born. We were they born. We are addicted by rewards of the pleasure to produce, to guarantee the survival. So, in a way, addiction is part of our structure. What are we prepared to do for it? To get it. And what are we prepared to lose because of it? Drugs, sexual, alcohol, gambling, all falls in one pattern. Self-gratitude. I've done my job. I've done. I managed to spread the egg. I managed to uh, take pressure off me. The reward is in a way the same. What is in it for me, am I getting satisfaction out of it? So, in so many ways, if we go back to our teaching, if we understand, most of the addiction has an emotional reward, but involves a physical action. So, this means, this part of the emotion, connection to physicality, has to be looked after. So, what do you do in the soul of the body of the man? What do you do in the brain of the man? The connection between the physicality and the emotion, has to be corrected. Needs to be put right. Needs to be connected. So, in so many cases, you need to elevate the emotion. Zinc oxide, CO2. But, the connection has a physical connection, because I make love to get the reward, but I need to use my body to get the sexual behavior to become habitual to it. So, it has a connection with magnesium. Because it connects the lack of the physicality, satisfaction, or repetition of the motion. But, internally connects your soul with your physicality of the brain. So, there is a lack or shortage, or need for the connection between the internal structure of the brain, that you don't need this to elevate or to increase the emotion. So, you need the potassium. Internal connection. You have a CO2, you have a zinc oxide, you have magnesium, you have a potassium, you have CH3. Now, you have to find out, what energy is lost, in the process of gambling, or sexual behavior, that it needs to be fulfilled, as an energy, that becomes the reward for the body of the man, that you can fulfill it with CH3. So CH3, as an energy reward, is part of your connection. 
this stimulation is how much we can change. Do we want to change? Or, through our addiction, we satisfy a self-behavior, ADHD, attention deficiency, because I need attention, to myself, for myself. So, this comes to play with Omega-3, with reproduction of the cells, which can be as part of delivery of the reconnection line of the proteins inside the brain of the man. Highly heavy on the behavior part, than on the activity part of the Omega-3. So, if you can get this process correctly balanced, that you don't increase too much energy, you don't increase the balance in the emotion, but you balance between the magnesium and the potassium side, you have cracked the addiction. I've done this many times. And, as was in the teaching with Caroline yesterday, she was explaining as part of the teaching I've done in the past, that certain addictions, you are advised not to touch, to reverse. It can be juice, like smoking. If you are addicted to tobacco, and you are smoking for 30, 40 years, 20 years, whatever, your body has adjusted. You have to bring that addiction under control in a slightly different way, that the body does not crash. You don't create other illnesses. But other addictions, like sexual addiction, gambling addiction, um, um, drug addiction, you can all bring it under control. I've had people from England who were drug addicts and smoke addicts, and after the first day, they could not even stand the smoke. Because there was no reason for it. There are people who internally, in their brain structure, go for addiction for fight, creating fight in the family. Because they get satisfaction of it. It's kind of addicted, they had to. But if you understand the reason, in what needs to be satisfied, you'll see no more. It's the same with the sexual behavior, the same with the um, drug trafficking, what we get involved. We can do everything, but, we have to sort out the problem. And the problem is, we are born as addicts, because it's part of us, we are addicted to sex, because we don't do it once and that's it. Once in a lifetime or twice in a lifetime. We do it frequently, have we get addicted to taste the others and the other things and other things with it. I always say, the, the, the problem with the Western world is that the youngsters' sexual behavior is, we taste this, one girl to another boy, one boy to another girl, every week, every two weeks, every few months, a new boyfriend, a new girlfriend, it's like going, you go to the Chinese, then you go to the Italian, then you go to the South American, then you go to the Mexican, you pick up a taste for different foods. Or is it the law of what they say, no sex before marriage, and stay faithful within the marriage? but they say, how do I know what I miss if I don't taste? Then become addicted to it. We see this heavily in the Western world. It might not sound, or might sound strange to the people in the other part of the world, but if you live in Western world, in England and other places, um, change of sexual partner on a weekly basis is just changing your shirt. Because it becomes habitual become addicted to, what's next? In the, in the West, in the East, this is not, this is unthinkable. I've been brought up in the Western and the Eastern culture both. And I've seen it, and I understand both of it. The whole nation, especially British young generation, are addicted to this. Alcohol, 
and sex, because there is no boundary, there is no morality left, and then become addicted to it, and you do it. How do we change the society? It's the society problem. How do we change the structure? It's unthinkable. When I told this to Caroline, when I met her years ago, she said, you're crazy. And when she moved and lived with our children in England, she said, you are right, we should have never brought them to England. You have to understand what, as a nation, we become addicted to, what gives us a kick. Some we accept because it's good, or we take pleasure, we think it doesn't harm us. But addiction is a physical, emotional need, which needs confirmation of existence. If you can give the confirmation to an addict, being heroin, cocaine or whatever, that he is worth what he is, he's a human being, he's respected, increase his level of his soul, which is a massive dose of specific type of zinc oxide. You have to produce these on a specific way, it took me years to develop it. And it's a bullseye. Then, the man stands and says, I don't need everything I did is revolting, I will understand it. But then, you have to support the physicality and the emotion with the internal structure of the brain, which is based on potassium. Then, you need the linkage between the proteins of the physicality and mental internal connections, which is with potassium magnesium which the best link we have is through Omega-3. And then you need energy, because whatever is damaged needs to be rebuilt, that you don't look for that position of energy, because drilling gives energy, releases a huge amount, but you have to be able to substitute it, which is CH3. It's a specific dosage, a specific way, you can walk away any addicts from any addiction. The only addiction you cannot stop is sexual behavior, because it's ingrained as part of reproduction we have. But you can bring it under control to understand, this is what I need, what I want. This is what I said in my old teaching. The mistakes of the Prophet past will not happen in, not in my time, not under my watch. because we understand the addiction. We understand the pleasures of it. Why somebody goes and gambles. I stood in um, Atlantis Hotel in Bahamas, it used to be my playground for years, and uh, it's the biggest casino in the world. It used to be the biggest gambling place in the world. And I stood and I watched people losing hundreds of thousands of dollars a night, and walking away, and I couldn't understand how can, two ways. It comes freely, they don't care, or it comes to self-gratitude, I can lose, because I exist. Then I've talked to many of them, I say, how can you lose quarter million on a table at night and walk away? Oh, he says, his business is good, I don't even feel it, it's there tomorrow morning again. But, one thing I always said to them, you're addicted to confirm you exist. You're getting other people to work for you to confirm, I'm here, I can. But, try to use the money somewhere else to help somebody with it, and then you see you can. I watched world wrestling champion losing $800,000 in one night, the boxing champion, and I asked them, how can you lose? You go to Vegas, you see the same. This is the pattern which is, it can be stopped, but you have to understand, we are born addicts, because with this addiction, we have reproduced, we go to reproduce again and again, till we get it right, and there is a child that we can guarantee our survival, it's a rabbit, or a rat, or a mouse, in the cage, we go for it, because there is something in it for us to reward, so, if you understand this, we can change a lot of things, a lot of addicts, a lot of addicts, given with the pens, if you create the right pen, and you just put in the water in the drink, but you have to create a combination of it. 
we did some tests with one of the doctors who's present here last year. They change, they feel the change, but they won't follow because then they don't confirm their existence. But then you have to follow with a heavy dosage of omega 3 for six weeks, eight weeks, and heavy uh, zinc oxide dosage of a specific way. The specific zinc which you produce for uh, addiction is very, very specific. You have to create. Can I share the screen, please? Go ahead, Mr. Kish. Okay, I think I'll go. What, why does something new on it? It says desktop one, desktop two. I don't have a desktop two. Let me check something. There's something strange here, please. Um, stop sharing. I have a problem, just stop, let me reset my system, please. I have to disconnect and reconnect for the system to become operational. Okay, let's try again. There's something to do with my teach. Oh yeah, it's okay now. Let's come back in. Okay, what you need, if you go back to the teaching of the last week, um, I have to move this up there. I have to move this one up here. Okay, go back to the teaching of last week. If you remember, I explained um, combination boxes. If you have a combination box, you have to create a specific way of what you need. You have a zinc oxide, because it's emotional. So, in a way you use double boxes, an area, volume area. So, we go, if you go, let's say, one, two, three, four, five, six, or four. What do you need to do? you need a volume area. So, this is to do with zinc, you need that much zinc. I explained to you when you understand more. Then, you need to create a dimensional strength, which is potassium, magnesium, And then, you need to do, because you're dealing with both sides of the emotion, the two half of the brain, you do the same. But, at the same time, you need to add dimensions of energy. But, at the same time, you need to bring in the game played by CO2 to be able to connect energy to all. There is one factor left, which is most probably the most important one, is allowing in a very, very, very simple way, in a, what do you call, understanding the process of emotions which are connected with physicality, which means you put, sorry, you put zinc oxide in a given positions. This will support the soul, and the emotions. 
this part. These zinc oxide connect to the physical body of the man in a different way of addiction. So, what you need to do, you literally take ganses according to the progressive or the process of the addiction. What does a drug addict need? What does he inject? What does a sexual behavior addict is? You choose boxes. If you do the same repeat with three boxes, especially, then you can do much better job, because then you control most of the things. Do you want to take from the soul? Do you want to take from the interaction of the long emotion? Or would you like to take it from physicality? Then you can walk in and walk out. Within most probably the first two or three weeks, you see the walking ending of the addiction. If you made this, you understand something very, very close by will come to reality. And it says, the amino acid, sorry, you disconnected me. Yeah, I don't know. Can you hear me? Yes, uh huh. Oh, yes, I, sure. lost, I lost my screen. Okay, it doesn't matter. Um, you just touch something. Something so fell we, out. Uh, <clears throat> we still see your screen, so maybe it's. Yes, uh, I've uh, lost my teaching screen, sorry. You disconnected me totally now. Is Madame de Rosa flying around doing things? <laughs> Women have some advantages and some disadvantages sometimes. Yeah, yeah I've got to get it back. Just wait. Okay, I'm back. So, what we see is the amino acid. If you make a combination of amino acids, of which part you're dealing with, and then make the GANS of it, you more or less, near enough, depending on which stack you use, you have achieved Omega-3. Near enough. To. And the whole thing costs less than maybe ten dollars to make. Do not forget, you only use the ganses of it, not the liquid gas, the plasma water, and not the gas of it. This is part of the development to understand the totality. That's why part of the teaching last week, now you can understand how to play, how you make things. Don't forget, when you make the boxes, the first box and the last box need a balancer. Not an energy source, but let's say a usually green or a red um, LED light is just about the right. And you let it run for a few days. I need to do it this way, then you can see it better. This is that N. This is magnesium, this is potassium, magnesium, potassium, CH3, I'll put three on it that you understand. And then you have 
a secondary. CO2. I put carbon here, then you understand. And then you need the zinc. You got to understand these zincs are not the same as the zinc in the center. This zinc in the center, especially the top one, is the level of the soul of the system. Because when you have a system like this, it feels like this. These are the zinc, one in the level of the potassium, because you need it internally to satisfy. You don't need that much, because these two together will feed the zinc of the emotion of the physical sense, and this makes all the connections and the energies needed. This is more or less near, depending on certain people, um, it's more or less a good guide, or making systems which can overcome any kind of addiction, except sexual addiction, because that's is ingrained in our DNA, and in our RNA, we cannot change it. Otherwise we stop producing and become, what you call it, uh, chemically modified beings. Any questions? Mr. Kish, um, the potassium and the magnesium, what are you using to create those? Um, I usually go for vegetation. And I use, the easiest for me was homeopathy tablets. Because they carry their field of strength and they're very good to use it. But it needs a full understanding of it. If you, if you look here, we haven't used any calcium whatsoever. Because there is no need for production of new cells, it's just changing the strength in certain cells. Do we use magne uh, magnesium as metal or magnesium as salt? Uh, I use magnesium through vegetation because the metal has a problem, then you have to convert it. If you can find magnesium, uh, some of the homeopathic magnesiums are the best, I found that, because they're already in a strength balance, you just convert it. But so, you need to know what you're doing, it's not just getting it because it's there. But uh, you can use um, uh, potassiums, highly rich vegetation with potassium magnesium help you. So, therefore, uh, we don't make plates there? The no, 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 no. These are emotional factors that you're not dealing with the plates. If it's a need for magnesium, like cramps, leg like cramps and that kind of things, you can use that. Because <laughs> that links to the copper. But in the, for the brain of the man, or for the emotion of the cell, you don't. This is not a medicine, this is understanding the process of the field. So, oh. we don't enter a medical application, it's a entry understanding the process of the evolution in the structure of the brain. How we connect to those cells uh, then? Uh, usually, brains. usually, um, you use the wires in different layers. Zinc wire, copper wire, nanopore. Oh, you choose. I, I always use no more copper wire. Thank you. Because after a while, you see all your wires get nano coated anyway. But, Thank uh, you. That gives a better don't... idea. Pardon? That gives a better picture about uh, the understanding of the process. I wish I had. It's. We have pictures of it. Do you know who's got all these pictures? Very good. Uh, it's Dirk Lorenz. He's taken many pictures of these plates. If he could be kind enough to release it in uh, my website, 
which is created there, you can see it. He took many pictures of these settings. Well, if he would be so kind to share them. He is very but kind, but depends what benefits one. <laughs> but this is there, it's, um, it's somewhere in there. You can see it, uh, one of the first ones. I used to have one on my table and many back in my lab, which I could manipulate. We can check on the archives.org for all versions of the websites. It's usually connected. It's usually connected. You see in these boxes, in the copper, you see the CH3, you see the CO2, you see the zinc oxide in all the way. It's very clear. Very clear in it. Um, these are the ways now that we have understood more, and that's a part of the teaching upload last week. Um, systems which we can use. But the point is, if you, you take these ganses and then make the gans water of it, then uh, you will understand certain things that, for example, this box here carries a potassium salt. This box here carries magnesium salt, even though you started with the sodium. Those salts which people been looking for to find, you find them here. Because now you're in a plasmatic condition, so the, 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 the amino acid on the top cannot be produced, if the right salt of the thing was not there. And the connection is very simple. I use a simple mesh, copper, mesh, copper, mesh, copper. But, um, this, these systems, your copper behaves according to zinc, if it's connected and produces. That's why you see different materials being produced in the box. You see green, you see white, you see, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, orange, which is, in some boxes you see blood, and uh, it's, it's all in the same box. But if you take this uh, gas waters, and make the same system in the dynamic way, then you have a different process. Those medical doctors who are working on these things, if you make the same organization, you take it out first, you produce the boxes, then to take the material out, and place these back into the, into the dynamic system, the same thing, then you'll see different things. You produce new materials, in a way, if you can do it back in. Any other question? Your other, layers, um, um, your, your other layers of your boxes, would they just have the same repetition, just in... No, the and then you have to understand, if this is the, to do with the brain and the soul, then this is the body. This is the lung section and the heart. And this is your stomach and the rest of below chest. And... Uh, you have to find a position of the body in respect to it, which organ you have, what you're talking about. Once you make one of these boxes, it's very easy, you can keep on using it in different way of loading. If you look at the box for the second layer, if you call it one, this layer two and the three, if you look at it this way, because you're looking down, I always allow this here, this environment here, only for heart, where I split the rest here, for the lungs. Heart has a red muscle tissue, lung doesn't. So here you can use copper, but here you can't, you put the copper on the edge, which has nothing to do with the white cells. Then when you go, 
to the, even if you look at it in a way of the discs, your certain part when you have a disc problem, in the boxes you put magnesium, because magnesium is a ligament connection, is a, is what you need for your discs. For cartilage. You can do a lot of things in the box like this, but it needs a lot of experience, I've worked on this for years. You pan out to the pancreas in the bottom one, your liver, your kidneys, and you produce more or less precise amount. And precise strength for the disease, but it needs a lot of knowledge. How would you suggest that people um, approach that knowledge, Mr. Cash? Like, you you wouldn't um, have you know uh, I know I know you and you you would not be measuring out to the microgram. Each I never each, measured. Uh, As I always said, God has no scale in the universe. Right. You probably oh. don't even have a measuring cup to measure. It's it's but you. No, you but you work can't. on the principle, let me explain, you work on the principle that the body takes what it needs, so you don't need to measure it, the body does the measurement itself. But you have to have some rough um, guidelines no, you, that somehow... No, you, 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 you make it available. You set your intention in a way, you've set your layout here, you, you visualize that be, before you even set up, uh, I mean... When do you start visualizing what goes where? Um, what part of that process? Do you visualize it first and then you manifest it according to that? Or is it you sort of uh, feel your way through and you're changing things each moment as you go according no, to how you no. sense? No, it's, it's, you need to have an extensive of knowledge I have in body of the man. Mm -hmm. So, everything the tissue is salts and different yeah, everything like else that. is considered yeah and it's not just one teaching it's it's uh, a accumulation of various um, aspects uh, like it's part of your family for example the idea of uh, uh, creating uh, different things like this is part of the uh, one part of your family as I understand your your history and so on that way so others I may come not from world that. of medicine, then. So as oh, right, know. right. I don't so, know how much it has gone through the brain that way. <laughs> well, is it a brain thing? That's the thing. Is it uh, have to go through the brain, or is it access some other way? Is the knowledge? Is it? Is but that? Let me let me explain. Out? Let me explain. This this structure applies to every being in the universe who has a physicality or not. Because then you decide which tray you play with, and which one it is, how it is. You structure the being in, in a way that you can manage in bits. The, as I've said many times, the physician of the future of the space will have a wonderful time. Because the knowledge of understanding different problems for different creatures of the God, will bring the scientists, the doctors to the verge of feeling to be God, because then they can touch everything and they can reach. And the exploration of being able to help, will feed them more knowledge. I carry knowledge from depth of the universe, so, for me these things have been set up, it's very easy, because I understand the totality, and as I said, as we mature more in science, we can do more, we can show more. You can pinpoint accuracy, which organ you want to grow, and where there is a problem. If you have a heart valve problem here, you, you can literally pinpoint to change it. If you have a blood blockage in the veins of the heart, you can literally work with it and change it. 